Hi guys, welcome back to uh, the channel. In this video, I'm going to answer some of uh, your questions regarding uh, creating a robot for Boom and Crash. I saw uh, a couple of people asking about creating a robot for Boom and Crash. So this is the first uh, video. So uh, the first thing that I want to point out before we go, uh, I will, uh, you'll forgive me, I'll be trying to speak uh, fast because I don't want us to spend the whole day here. So if you don't understand anything or if you miss anything, feel free to rewind the video and what and watch that part again. So the first thing that I want to get out of the way is my personal opinion is uh, that many people trade boom and crash the wrong way. Here is how I trade a boom and crash. You see, you can basically trade it as a forex currency if you go to the uh, bigger time frame which is uh, the one hour or let's see if we can do that on the 30 minute uh, but uh, uh, certainly on the one hour 30 minute you can uh, trade it like a uh, normal forex currency so in the ideal world you would have sold there and you would have what collected all of these uh, pips and there are still spikes in here but most people when they come to trade a boom and crash they obviously want to do this they go to the one minute time frame and sometimes they are trying to catch these spikes and sometimes they are trying to catch these uh, uh, smaller candles i have demonstrated uh, this strategy on my other channel the links in the description box below how you can easily trade a boom and crash uh, volatility 75 uh, using uh, this uh, strategy so go ahead and uh, visit that channel and watch those uh, videos. But still, in any case, uh, let's uh, just make a robot uh, that will trade uh, boom and uh, and uh, and crash. So I assume many people are asking me because they want to what? They want to trade it with the spikes. They want to trade it with spikes. So there are two approaches of uh, doing uh, this, in my opinion. By the way, did I ask you to subscribe? Subscribe. That's how you are not going to miss any future videos. Like the video. Uh, that's how you show me that you are liking the content and I should keep on uh, bringing you more content like this. And about everything else, the links are in the description box below, including the broker that I use. So go ahead and sign up with them. So. Going back to our video, the first approach definitely will be uh, in this case. In this case, is to only want to trade these smaller candles. Because, trust me, usually you cannot catch uh, these uh, spikes. Uh, I know people will say they've got uh, stuff that catches spikes and stuff. These spikes are usually so random that uh, there is no guarantee there is definitely no guarantee of you catching spikes you might actually start uh, buying uh, in uh, here thinking that a spike is going to come and all this uh, retracement will actually knock you out of your position like uh, blow your account yeah i've seen it happen so uh, i think at the lower time frames to try and catch the spikes is gambling it's definitely gambling but these smaller candles are guaranteed so what you probably want to do uh, unless somebody comes up with a strategy that they can show me that is mechanical that we can use to catch a spikes and then I'll, I'll be able to make uh, that a robot but uh, at the moment what you can do is to try and uh, scal scalp sorry uh, scalp these retracement uh, candles the small uh, candles then uh so what we're going to do is first of all we wait for a spike then after that we what we trade uh, maybe you catch one or two or three of these candles and you're out and you wait for another spike and you catch one or two three candles and you are out so uh, the first approach will be using the candles the second approach will definitely be using moving averages uh, let's go to uh, moving averages. Let's say indicators, uh, trend, moving average. 
so what i like to do is usually you can have moving average one uh, that's uh, red and uh, you can use exponential uh, you can basically use what you want and here we've got uh, shift zero we'll come back to that and that will be our mo first moving average second you can add another moving average again another moving average moving average one and we are going to change the color you can change it to blue or you can change it to green whatever um, uh, is visually um, uh, pleasing to you but now you can see our drop our moving averages are on top of each other so what you want to do let's go back in there and we go back sorry sorry we only added one okay so let's just fix this one first let's have this with shift one shift one and we do that uh, it has got a shift one and then the next one the next one is just going to be without shift so we are going to do that and we are going to make it a uh, line and we are going to have shift zero shift zero so this will be a uh, another robot that you might want uh, to use yes you are going to be tempted to say that the robot the moment it uh, sees this cross it's going to buy trust me it's not because these spikes happen in so fast that your robot is not going to be able to process this cross it's uh, it's only going to process that cross somewhere here and you certainly lose money so the ideal thing is to what to catch these smaller robots with the candle sorry when this happens so that's the uh, other approach the other approach is just using the candles themselves uh, let me see if we can create um, if we have a new window let's do that a new window and so the first approach will be what just using the candle let me just uh, remove that the first approach will be using just the candle so as you can see uh, in terms of candles what we have is usually an opening here and a close if it if the candle opens below the close it definitely tells you that that's a bullish candle if the open is above and the close is below that tells you that that's a bearish candle uh, normal candlesticks normal candlesticks so you can easily use that information without those other uh, the moving averages without the moving averages you can simply use that idea to what to start trading these candles so let's go to our ea builder let's start all over uh you can basically uh use fx trimmer let's see fx trimmer if it's uh working it was giving me problems uh lately i don't know what's happening with uh fx trimmer the website seems to be taking long to load but uh in any case i was going to show you how to do that on fx trimmer but on uh the free m uh ql4 uh site see i don't know what's happening today or oh, it's just my machine but anyway so let's uh, let's use uh forex ea advisor in any case here you can generate ea builders for mt5 for free for free so you can generate uh for meta trader 4 meta trader 5 for free uh it's not like fx streamer where you need to pay to order in order to generate uh robots for uh meta trader 5. so using this approach uh this will be a, a boom a boom 1000 or boom 500 or boom 300 um uh robot so we'll then go in there and we'll say for our buys for our buys we want what that if we're going to do a a, a a robot we want only want the robot to go uh one direction so if we're going to use the condition for a buy it's going to be a crash it's going to be a crash 1000 uh robot because we are going to be doing the opposite if we just load our uh, crash 
I'm trying to move fast. If I'm moving too fast for you, I'll just rewind the video and you can watch it all over, okay? So, and let's just get rid of volume. So, if we're going to use that buy condition, that buy condition, this buy condition, it's going to apply to crash 1000 because we're going to be buying here. Then the boom robot, we are going to only use the sell condition because we want to be selling here according to our approach. So we are going to be looking out for either a bullish candle or a bearish candle in order to what to enter the market. So if we go there, let's say we are going to be using uh, opening buys, that's for our uh, crash robot. So first of all, we are going to say we want our, that's our open, that's our open, our open, it's a bearish candle, we open at the top, it needs to be above our close, the close of the candle is at the bottom if it's a bearish candle, then so our open needs to be above our close of that candle shift we can use uh, zero doesn't matter just use uh, uh, shift zero uh, to close a buy we are going to use the opposite the moment we see uh, but we are not going to be really using this because what we generally want is to use a uh, tech profit so the moment we see the open that is uh, below the moment that we see an open that is below the close the moment we see an open an open that is below close am i making sense now let's not close uh, that let's use uh, the uh, let's use uh, tech profit let's use tech profit we're going to confuse ourselves Let's use take profit. Uh, so we are then going to go here and we are going to say, uh, you can say stop loss. Uh, I, 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 I don't think you, you need to though, uh, because if you have been trading uh, these spikes, you know they don't respect stop loss. They don't respect stop loss. You might put your stop loss even so tight, but it will actually be filled somewhere here. If you buy here, and you trail tightly the price trust me when this uh, spike comes your stop loss will only get filled here this trade will be a loss so i don't know if you want to use uh, uh, a stop loss you can just uh, set it at zero here you can set the lot sizing that you want uh, of course the minimum lot size on boom and crash is uh, at least boom and cash 1000 is 0.2 here you can set whatever a magic number that you want for your robot the magic number is going to be used by the robot in order to what to know the particular trades that it placed so that it can only manage those trades then you can have your uh take profit uh i don't know you want to make it what uh, uh five thousand or fifty thousand i don't know uh, i forgot whether this is in points or in pips trailing stop you can use it but uh, you can use a zero like i said like i said uh, usually you can even trail your position but when the spike comes i promise you you lose that trade so you don't want to play with uh, stops that's why i told you at the beginning that i i usually trade on the higher time frames because here at least things are guaranteed that's my opinion but anyway, in any case, let's continue. And then after that, we come to expert code. Then here you can simply what you generate what your your EA. So this we said because we used buying, we used a buy condition. This is going to be a crash one thousand EA. So it's going to be crash. 1000 EA and we are going to save uh, that um, source code so what it's going to do is basically if we go to our crash 1000 the moment it sees uh, this bearish candle 
when this bearish candle closes, it's going to open a buy. Then we are going to have a take profit somewhere. I just set it at 50,000. I forgot whether it's uh, pips or points. It's going to set a take profit uh, somewhere. Ideally, what you want to do is after one, two, three, or four candles, depending on your your risk appetite, is let's say you entered with um, a standard lot. Ideally, what you want to do is to take out maybe 90, 0 0.9. You take out 0 0.9 uh, of that position and just leave 0 0.1 to run and see how far it goes. Or you can even take out 0 0.95 of that position so that if this spike happens just after what you do that at least this spike uh, it doesn't uh, take all your money at least it doesn't take all your money that uh, 0 0.05 that you are leaving there is just maybe in case of uh, this where you're like ah oh, i probably shouldn't have closed my uh, position uh, that early so uh, you have to man manually for now you have to manually uh, uh manage that trade of course there are already robots that you can use uh to trade uh, to manage your trades like stop loss trailing stop uh, uh, partial uh, take profit and things like that uh, maybe i'll share that with you in the next uh, video so that will be our first approach uh with our crash uh, or crash 1000 ea let's uh, go back now that we want to do uh, uh this see what happened here uh, unfortunately i was talking and we we're not on this chart so see what happens here so our robot now that we are going to make is the moment that we with this cross that will be the second the second uh candle it will then open a cell that will be on uh, uh that will be on uh, boom 1000 that will be our robot then and nothing is guaranteed uh, because you might actually see another spike from here uh, but in any case you guys love to trade one minute time frame watch my other channel uh the link is in the description box below uh, why you should probably shift to one hour but anyway so let's uh, create uh, that robot. In this robot, we used uh, EMAs 1 and EMA 1 with shift 1. That's how we used, uh, uh, that's how we created this concept. So we have EA, EMA 1 and we've got EMA 1 with shift 1. That's how we came up with our concept here. So how do we do that here? We go here. Because it's for boom, I'm using the the, the boom uh, 1000 uh, the boom 1000 example now. So what we are going to do is we are going to go here and we just cancel this. Sorry, I was checking uh, something. Uh, let's just uh, cancel this and say select select now it's back to default and we come here and we are going to look for sales because this is boom 1000 we are only going to be looking for sales in boom 1000 so for sales the condition is that we are going to use a moving average and we are going to keep time frame uh, current whether uh, in case you you well, in case you want to use a specific current uh, time frame, it's up to you, but we're just going to use current. In case we want to use this on one minute or we want to use this on five minute, uh, whatever uh, rocks your pot. So let's just go back to one minute. So we are going to use current and period. We are going to say one shift. We are going to say uh, zero because this will be the that uh, uh, lime uh, average and we're going to use ema price we are going to use close shift again we're going to use uh, um, zero and we say uh, that our lime color this one it needs to be below the red one then we're going to take a cell so then we come here and we say moving average Again, current, 
current price current time frame and we're going to say one period and we're going to say shift uh um ma shift we're going to say uh one and we are going to say um moving average type ema and price we're going to use clause here we're going to uh, set it at a zero then definitely we don't want to close uh the cell we don't want to close it so we're just going to go to options and we are going to again uh let's say change our uh, magic number for our robot there and we're going to keep that as that and definitely we're just going to keep everything the same and we are going to go here and we are going to say um generate and we are going to say uh that's our boom 1000 boom 1000 ea and we are going to uh, save that's all that you need to do already on this video i showed you how you can use uh mq5 uh, uh, source files with your metatrader 5 so we have basically just uh done this we uh, for free without any coding needed and yeah that's basically it is this strategy guaranteed again like i said uh, i i don't usually trade uh, spikes uh, or on boom and crash i've stayed away from it i think it's a recipe for disaster but many people want to do it so go ahead and uh, test it out uh, you can simply create your own robot and test it out i said my approach is usually that uh, way is my where is my objects let's say a line there my approach is usually that uh in this case would uh, say we buy there would say uh one standard lot then probably if we get to this point i close 0 0.90 of that trade uh, or 0 0.95 of that standard lot then i leave that remaining 0 0.05 to see whether it's going to continue this way like it, it did here or maybe we are going to spy to get spiked down if we get spiked down that 0 0.95 that i closed is usually enough to cover any loss from that 0 0.05 that's still open and you can still get out of that trade with something so that's usually how i i would say if if you're going to trade at the lower time frames that's how you probably are going to do it but if you go to the higher time frames see how easy it can be to trade boom and a crash you just need to find your levels you just need to find your levels uh, support and resistance and once it's crash 1000 you still you see you can still actually buy crash 1000 all this way to this level or this level well whatever support or resistance that you can see then you easily don't stress about it but anyway watch uh, the videos on that other channel and you can see what i'm talking about otherwise guys i will see you in the next videos if you have any more questions leave them in the comment section below i'll try as best as i can to answer all your questions regarding trading boom and crash with the robots and stuff like that guys see you in the next videos bye